This is Blender's default layout. You can see that it is divided into different panels. I'll explain each panel in detail and what we use it for. Starting from the left, we have a cute little logo of Blender. Next to that, we have File, under which we have many common options. Using New and Open, you can open a new or an existing Blender file. Under Recent Files, you will find all the recent projects and Blender files you are working on. Recover is a very important option here, so as we can recover the Blender files that have crashed that are automatically saved by Blender. Save and Save As is like any other software. Link and Append are two options with which you can make multiple instances of any Blender file or any model in their Blender file to this file. Using Import and Export, you can import and export many file types like uh, SDL and more. Extended Data and Cleanup Data Store and removes the data that is not needed for the file and that is not used in this file. Quit will quit Blender. Under Edit, we have Undo History. Bare, you can click on the command and undo the previous processes that are done. The remaining of them are modeling specific and will be explained in the modeling tutorial. Then we have Preferences. Here you can set up your interface and add-ons. Look up and the layout preferences according to you. Next, we have to render. If you want to enter a single image or you want to render an entire animation, Below that, we have an option to view the animation that has been rendered that you will have to fix the render settings in the output properties. We will come to that later. Under window, you can switch to different with modes like object mode, edit mode, and sculpt mode. You can open a new window or new views. You can switch to full screen mode. With help, you can access different documentations and guides for Blender. You can also write a Python script to make add-ons. Now to understand the difference, layouts in Blender, you should understand the panels. Under general, we have a 3D viewport. This is where you visualize and model everything in 3D. Image editor and editor are used for visualization of foreign images. Creating new images in Blender and UV unwraps the model 3D model to place it on top of the 2D layout for texturing. A compositor is used to composite the rendered images or render animation. Action node editor and geometry node editor are basic geometry nodes that we can use to make different kinds of animation and procedural stuff. Texture node editor and shader editor is used to creating materials for the models. We can use make different procedural and PBR materials using this. Sequence is an inbuilt video editor for Blender. Under animation, we have a dope sheet, timeline, graph editor, drivers, and nonlinear animation. All these are used while animation for different purposes. For example, the graph editor is used, smooth curves or animation. Nothing is visible now because we haven't done any animation. Drivers are used to making automatic animations driven from other keyframes. And non-linear animation is combining two animators, for example, and adding animations to blend in. All these are modes in animation and are used in sequence, so I will be explaining that in a separate video. Under scripting, we have Tax Writer and Python Consumer Info. All this is basically for scripting and those who are interested in making add-ons in Blender and can be used to make divers and edit the expression. Under data, we have Outliner Properties, File Explorer, Asset Browser, Spreadsheet, and Preferences. Outliner is basically where you can find all the objects that are there in your viewport. In the Properties panel, you can see some of the common settings for the scene, like the Output, Render, Scene, and World Properties. Apart from that, for a particular object, like if I click on this cube, I can view the object properties like the modifiers particular system with the particle system, some constraints and the material that is being used on the cube. Apart from outliner and properties, all the others are asset libraries that we can use and further enhance the scene in Blender. 